You think it's Devin's fault that this fight? Because they, they had a lower ticket. They're not even. There's mad tickets left for next Saturday. You, you yeah, because Ryan, who, who, Ryan, who, who, Ryan, yeah. Who <laughs> I put it on Devin because Ryan has the, the huge fan base. But where are they? They're not buying tickets. I, I don't understand. Because he don't have a dance partner that they want to see. They I mean, don't. They, they don't want to see Dev. Oh, you're blaming Devin. You know, it, it's tough for me to blame Devin because. I get it. Because uh, let's look at it like this. I threw, I've thrown a lot of events over the years. Mm. And the one thing I've learned, when people feel uncomfortable in a situation, and what I mean by that is they feel uncomfortable if the event's even going to go down. Like, there was a lot of questions about mm. the fight going down. Even even um, Ryan Garcia came out and was like, yo, I don't want to do it in New York. He wanted it in Vegas. He was like, yo, it's not going to work. He tried to do that. Then... And, you know, and then the, the whole New York City, uh, New York State Commission um, basically uh, running him through the uh, presser to see if he's mentally stable. The tickets were expensive. I got a friend, she paid $800 for a ticket for a debit. I don't even know where she's sitting, to be honest. There's not even like it's front. <laughs> no, it's, like, no I, it's crazy. And like, I think a lot of, you know how they say you usually undersell or you you know you try to undersell it so you could you know make more profit. I forgot how the saying goes, right? Mm -hmm. But I feel as if they based a lot of this off of what Ryan did versus Tank. And Tank is a knockout artist, and people wanted to see Tank knock out the pretty boy, even though Tank, uh Ryan does have a good fan base. Let's be honest. You Tank know, you're is, right, you're right, bro. You're right. Because at the end of the day, skills do what? Pay the bills. bills. Yeah. But my thing is this. With that fight, right, do you blame Devin? I, I, I mean, Devin doesn't really. Now that you say that, bro, I blame both of them. It, I mean, you got to think about it, bro. If you don't live in New York City, a lot of people want to fly in, right? A lot of people mm -hmm. fly in. They want it's just not. It's not cheap to go to New York to spend a hotel. For no, a weekend, not. you're probably spending in a cheap hotel Close to six, seven hundred dollars for for a couple days, right? Not to mention what you're gonna eat out there. Extremely expensive. Not unless to mention you're in the the street, unless you eating uh, eating for twenty dollars, like my man in New York on the gram, the twenty dollar eat. Yeah, I mean, but come on, most people. No, oh, you doing it big in New York? Yeah, I mean, well, you're trying to. New York is really expensive. So to me, I feel like a lot of and, and I, I gotta share the blame, but I'm not gonna lie. A lot of people felt like this fight was not going to happen. In fact, Devin Ryan Garcia, he speaks more about everybody else than the actual fight. I just watched him say he'll knock out Floyd Mayweather. He wants to fight Bud Crawford and Errol Spence next. Mind you, he hasn't even fought Devin Haney yet. It's almost <laughs> as if he's looking past Haney like, I don't give a shit about this fight. And I feel like people are looking at him like, yo, is he even focused? Does he even care about this fight? And listen, I'm not spending damn near two thousand dollars on a weekend trip to New York if I'm not sure if this guy's gonna actually show up. And and bro, the tickets got lowered, bro, and they still not selling. Yeah, they did. I heard they like Devin, but that's the thing. These guys, man, it take a while to be like a pay per view star and all of that. Like you, that people be trying to rush that. Like Floyd, but Floyd's first pay per view fight. I think it was three hundred thousand when Arturo Gotti. But Arturo Gotti was beloved. He played yeah, the villain. Like, was, listen, the, the one thing about Floyd is this, and and Devin Floyd just let his hands go. And even when he went and, and baited Arturo Gotti into fight, he went into Jersey, where 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 Arturo Gotti's fan base is from, and embarrassed him and became Money May and the bad guy. Then worked his way up for guys like Oscar De La Hoya. Yes, sir. Yes, Devin sir. Haney's trying to do the same thing. He's not as exciting as Floyd. But, and, and to be honest, Oscar was way higher than what you have in terms of respect and what people want to see in terms of what you have with Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia is more popular for being a good-looking dude than being a great boxer. Has never been a champion. There's a lot of things. De La Hoya was a champion. He was a celebrated Olympian. He Big was an difference. Olympian. The Olympian, it's a different 100%. And, and, and to me, it's like you know, Ryan's I think inability to focus on, on the task at hand. And bro, he's talking about everything but the fight, he's talking about Afghanistan, he's talking about Israel, he's talking about like all types of crazy shit. And I'm sitting here, like, 
Dude, you're when is you gonna get to this work, bro? Where's the twenty four seven for this? Like, I mean, I mean, guys, like this is that's another thing. reason why it's not selling either. Because yeah. if it, they got like a, they don't have like a twenty four seven, but they be having like a little, you know, Devin Haney versus. But it ain't that twenty four seven with Cubs with the voice. I, I watched Ryan Garcia literally pull out a bottle of liquor. Check this out. This is crazy. And 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 again, I don't box. I don't train, but I know alcohol. But was it really liquor though? Because he be trolling so I, much. I don't care, but why? But why? Why? Because he's trying to sell. But how are you selling the fight by pulling out liquor? If if you pull out liquor right during your training, I'm like, yo, I'm not wasting my money on this fight. It's not going to be a fight. Devin's not even going to knock him out. Let's be real. Everybody that's out there talking about Devin Haney's going to knock out Ryan Garcia. You guys are on drugs. Though I think though. <laughs> It's insane. No, it's nor is uh, no, my nigga street star. You are hot today. I'm just keeping it real. Like, bro, listen, I was watching betting odds. The betting odds of Devin Haney catching a knockout are damn near impossible. Like, it is absolutely crazy. Crazy. Like, I'm watching it. There is no way Devin Haney knocks him out unless it's like a stoppage where this guy's. I, I just don't see that happening in this fight. People You're are sleeping correct. on Ryan Garcia. This man is not a type of person. Devin Haney is not the type of person. He's not a finisher, guys. He's a he's a he's a he's a he's, he's a, a great player. boxer. He's yes. a great chess player. He, he is not going to. I don't even know when's the next time we're ever going to see Devin Haney if he ever knocks anybody out. But it's not a knock on Devin Haney. He's a great fighter. Well, it is. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it is uh, everybody's not a knockout puncher. That's no, hundred percent. But I, I will say this: it is intriguing because I have seen him get wobbled to the point where I'm like, "Oh, he can't play with Ryan Garcia like that." Because Ryan Garcia will finish. You. That's what I'm saying. Like this, is what I'm saying, bro. It's gonna be such a spectacle if I, I want to see the fight. Just the simple fact to see how how Devin takes the punching power of ryan and how he chooses to fight because if he if we both know he doesn't have power like that and regis progress said devin is physically strong yeah, and when he delivers that. the power it is not the same so yeah. i want to see is he gonna sell out and come forward and if ryan garcia is gonna box or ryan just like man i'm not even thinking about dude he cannot punch we got on eight ounce gloves i'm about to just walk in so we're gonna see what's gonna happen and I want, and I'm, 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 I'm really ready to see it, bro. Because, <laughs> yo, this is funny. Shout out to my homegirl Ash. She said, "Hi, I'm tuning in. I've been trying to sell my tickets for weeks now. She's bought. I think she paid like eight, nine hundred dollars for tickets. She's trying to sell the tickets a week away, a couple of weeks actually, and nobody wants to buy them. Nobody wants to buy these damn tickets. I mean, nobody want to buy. For... Nobody want to see it, bro. I'm That's tell... crazy. I don't, I, I don't know who to blame. Listen, Devin Haney does not sell." He's not a puncher. He's a good boxer. I, I prefer to see his dad talk sometimes than watch him box. And I love that. I think Devin Haney's a good boxer, right? No facts. Ryan Garcia, I think the fact that he's been unstable. Dude, I'm watching. Look, look, go to his Instagram. He no, deleted I was on there, series. bro. Like, he, he's he, like, he, he, he do a lot of trolling and shit. Like, but, but and dog, I get it. It doesn't even make sense. It's not even towards the fight. You're talking about. Oh, I wasn't even drinking. Oh, I'm, I, you know what's crazy? I believe he has been drinking. I, I, like, I think he's that fucking retarded that he would sit there and drink. He's out here partying with different chicks. Bro, why are you even around females at this point? You're a week away from the fight. Why are you around females? This, and where is Derek James in all of this? Can Derek, anybody, James, hey, Derek. Told, Derek James told you what he about in this joint. When he done with that gym, he take his ass to the crib and sit down, my G. <laughs> it's hurt the fight. It's it's not selling because nobody believes that this kid is actually serious about this fight. Why didn't they take this guy to Big Bear Mountain where all of a lot of our greats have been locking, no internet, no, take his goddamn phone. It's costing, to, I blame Ryan. I don't blame Devin because Devin is not the one to sell this fight. If Devin was the one to sell this fight, he would have got the higher purse. It's a 55-45 split Ryan Garcia's way, which means they expect he's getting a bigger chunk because he's the one that's supposed to sell a goddamn fight. Hey, listen, I don't know you what say it like that, nothing else, there's nothing else to be said, my G. You said what you said. We're not on here. Well, listen, one thing I don't do is argue facts. <laughs>